Hey, hey, peeps. Baby Metal. I have now officially seen them in concert. I'm uh, back from Oslo. And uh, I had an absolutely brilliant time uh, at the concert. I must just say. Um, all of the bands, Lordy, Baby Metal, Sabaton, they performed absolutely brilliantly. I must just say. Um, as you can probably see, I got myself some baby metal merch as well. Look at this beauty, huh? Look at this. Bought myself a hoodie. And on the inside. Oh, yes. So, uh, yes, I've got stuff from baby metal now. So, um, yeah, as it, and as you can see in the, the background here, there's a tiny little collage. It's just for pictures uh, sliding around. Um, I wanted more, but the program did only allow me to choose four. So these are the ones. As you can see, I stood a little bit back uh, due to the reason that I was going to film, and take pictures. Um, Sadly, I had huge sound problems when uh, Baby Metal came on. Um, just due to the fact that the volume were tuned up quite a bit and uh, the sensors on my uh, recording equipment uh, wasn't set to auto. So, um, yeah, most of my recordings are actually yeah you can't listen to them but i found some that we can use and uh i must just say lordy did a great job see my other video uh about lordy um they did a great job of uh, warming us up for baby metal and uh where lordy was doing jogging then baby metal came in with an incredible sprint it was an extreme pace it was loud it was just epic in every single way and it was brilliant to see three girls back on the stage not just two or even one and uh yeah, they, they delivered. They were running around. They were talking to the audience. They were... Yeah, they were doing everything. And uh, let's just... Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, go in and see uh, the start of the concert. It's two minutes. I'm going to shut up. And here the picture comes as well. I can promise you there was quite a bit of an anticipation. In a heavy metal galaxy, far, far away, the spirit of heavy metal, the fox god, chose three newly reborn metal spirits and summoned them and to the metal verse. All of you baby metal fans, you have heard this one before, so for the first time I'm going to talk a little bit while this is playing. The spirit of um, heavy metal traversed across baby the Baby metal's set list also was, as you can hear, death started with that first baby metal death and they continued with the uh, Megatsu, Papaya, Metal Kingdom, I got to see Monochrome, Gimme Chocolate and I ended with Road of Resistance and I have some of them 
as you can hear me. That's when my sound started skipping. Are you ready to head back? Now is the time for I'm the ready metal to hits. head back. That was With the stupidest question metal. this evening. <laughs> a little taste of what was coming I think the girls just shocked the audience at least those who had never heard them before I know there was a how can I say probably a 70-30 that was I could say had Sabaton as the mains but my guess is that 30% had baby metal as the mains. Uh, perhaps 20. There was a lot of people my age and a little bit younger uh, on the concert. Quite a few ladies and, and girls as well. Uh, don't... Um... Yeah. It, it was just... It was a nice mix, you could say. But, how can I say, the public exploded after this. We can uh, go on to, to, uh, to the next one, just, just a second here. Some of these are very short. I had to cut them due to the sound problems. Let's see. Oh, let's start. As you can see, I'm doing it on the fly. No editing or anything here. And more came, just a second. This is, this is what they did to us. This is a very short segment. And I will talk a little bit after this. As you can see, people didn't know how to react. Not a single hand in the air. And almost no cell phones either. Um, they came at, at us with such fury and relentlessness that, yeah, we didn't know what hit us. It was a wave. It was a wave of baby metal. And... As I said in the beginning, it was such an extreme pace in the songs. You know, we've heard them on Spotify, we've seen them on the music videos and stuff like that, but to be in there with all this massive sound around you, you know, you got tired, you know. It felt like you were running a marathon or something. But it was brilliant. And... I'm pretty sure that everyone loved every second of it. Let's see if I can find another one. I have a couple of them. Oh, that was a very short one.
Let's see here. And as you can hear, I'm having serious sound problems at this stage, which actually just kind of broke my heart because this was the main event for me today, baby metal. And, uh, but I continued, I continued to, to record. So I have quite a few, uh, uh extras here. Let's jump in again. As you can see, people were getting a little bit more in now. Uh, they were going along with them. It took them two, three songs before uh, they suddenly understood that uh, this, this is epic. So, uh, and uh, yeah, concert went on. I got more and more sweaty because this was absolutely brilliant. Um, as I said, I was running a marathon in here and uh, and I loved every single second of it. If I could go two days back and uh, do this all over again, I would have. I would have. Without any doubt, it was absolutely brilliant. So we're going into uh, my last two snippets here. Let's. Uh... Oh yeah, this is uh, this is. Uh... <laughs> I had one guy. I I put quite a lot of videos out on TikTok, by the way. And I had one guy sending me a message um, saying that uh, he hoped I managed to record something of monochrome because, uh, yeah, it was epic. And I totally agree with him. And um, the sad thing is, yeah, as you probably can think, my, my audio just did me really, really over. So uh, the only thing I managed to get from Monochrome was uh, this part here, but I think it's, uh, it's rather beautiful. So that's the proof, at least. Monochrome was uh, actually played at Oslo. So, um, and the last clip I have, I think it's just a farewell seance. Let's see. Yeah. But it ends with a, a rather nice gesture. So um, two seconds and you will have it. I think 
how can I say? He tried to make a heart. It's not. It's more like a spade. But uh, <laughs> if you look at it. But at least that's the feeling we all got. And now you can see all the hands in the air. And uh, what she was going to say was that they will be back in November. And uh, Baby Metal is on a UK and Europe tour in uh, this fall, this Easter. Not Easter, I'll say. Uh, autumn. And um, they will be back in Norway 14th of November. And um, I can't go. So I really hope that when you get the message, get your tickets. I was in checking all the, how can I say, special tickets. They are gone in uh, both categories. There's no meet and greet uh, tickets. It's just, uh, how can I say, unique merchandise and, uh, and stuff like that. So there's only normal tickets back uh, left. Uh, they are going to play at Centrum Sena. That's uh, a very small venue. It's only max capacity, 1,700 uh, people. In here, it was um, 8,000, between eight and 10,000. So um, if you want tickets, jump on it straight away. And if uh, enough people buy tickets, they might move to another venue. Hopefully, because uh, 1,700 people, it's, yes, a very tiny little stage and, and it will be a unique experience, but uh, these girls deserve this kind of stage bigger alone. As you can see during the entire um, concert, they had very little space because <laughs> Sabaton's rig was just behind uh, the screens and stuff that were placed on, on the stage here. So, uh, but I loved every second of it and I really want to experience it again. I will later on in life. And uh, yeah, from what I heard, from what I saw, these girls deserve a nine out of 10 this time because I can't give them 10 out of 10 until I've seen them on a proper big stage and I have experienced those huge shows they have in Japan. So I probably have to save some money and go to Japan one day just to see them. So um, yeah, so 9 out of 10. I'm happy. On with the next one. And uh, yeah. Take a look at that one as well. That's Sabaton. 